So yesterday we actually did publish a tutorial, an alarm manager tutorial, okay, of of course how to set of course the number of seconds and then schedule your alarm to do a certain task after a certain uh, number of seconds or after a certain uh, time or it. We did see that one, but then that particular tutorial was in Java. So we've decided to translate it over right here to of course our sorry for that we've decided to translate it to a Xamarin sorry for that so we've decided to translate that particular tutorial to C sharp Xamarin right here okay so in this particular uh, tutorial we're going to introduce the alarm manager we're going to look at the simplest example possible we're going to see how you can schedule a certain job to take place at a certain of course uh, time in the future right here of course in Android so what should do we have this simple project of course with the edit text you simply enter the number of seconds okay you enter the time the number of seconds after which you want your task to start so you enter it inside the text box right here then you click start okay then after this certain number of tasks we're going to see uh, our task is going to get executed now given that this is a beginner tutorial we the task that you're actually going to do right of course is just showing a simple toast message okay so we'll be showing a message right here so for instance say that i want my task to start after five seconds so i come enter five then i just click start now it's going to notify me alarm set in five seconds all right so after five seconds you can see alarm ringing is going to ring which of course you can see it's just our task in this case is just showing that particular the simple toast message what of if we come and then have right here 10 seconds we click start okay alarm set in 10 seconds after 10 seconds of course it's going to show us to notify us right here for our toast okay which of course that's alarm ringing so in our case that's the work that we're doing just showing that simple a toast message what about 15 seconds we click start then alarm set in 15 seconds after 15 seconds is actually going to show us right here our test okay so 15 seconds wait not yet okay it does there is it alarm ringing does it guys it's a simple example right here to introduce us to the alarm manager class so let's jump to our source code So here this is our visual studio. Alright, I'm using the I've just used the game motion emulator. First, of course, go ahead create our project. Of course, I'm using VS 2013, Visual Studio 2013. You can use any version as long as you have your Xamarin installed. Okay. This is of course Xamarin Android right here we're doing. C sharp is of course our language. Go ahead, create your project, alright. So go ahead right here, visual C sharp then android then of course choose the blank app give it a name click ok to create our project our android project once our project is going to be is has been created of course inside the solution explorer we're going to navigate over to the resources right here then of course the our layout so our main.xml this of course is our main layout we'll move over to it and then of course we're going to modify it uh, as you can see right here so Take note inside our layout, of course, in uh, our default, our root tag is the linear layout right here. Orientation, of course, is the vertical. Then, of course, we're giving it uh, the background color that you guys saw. The layout width is going to match parent. The layout height is also going to match parent. Okay. Then, our edit text, edit text, we give it an ID time txt. So, it's inside this edit text, this is going to enter the number of seconds after which the task is going to start let me just free up my disk space perfect so right here we are saying that edit text of course this is what this is, is going to be entering the seconds the number of seconds after which he wants the task to start then of course our button the start button so please go ahead design your layout right here we're going to leave the source code below so once we have that one we're going to have two classes First, of course, we're going to have our main activity, okay, main activity.cs. 
also going to have the my receiver the CS. So let's go ahead start with the my receiver. My receiver this is a broadcast receiver class. Okay, so it's going to make sure uh, you add is going to derive from uh, our broadcast receiver. Okay, the one to derive from the broadcast receiver, we're going to override the on receive method. Right. So inside this on receive method, this is we're going to write of course the code that we want to be executed in the future so for instance in this case or should simply want to take note of course our own receive method is going to uh, take two ob two objects as parameters first the context object as well as the intent object all right so in our case the task that we want to be executed in the future is simple just showing this as particular text message so context we pass it toss dot make text context then alarm ringing all right that's our task then toss length dot short dot show does it that's our broadcast receiver class my uh receiver class all right next we're going to move over to our second class all right here let me uh pin this one all right here okay yeah so main main activity dot cs now main activity dot cs of course this is our main activity right here first is going to extend our activity as we can see of course to may convert it from an ordinary class to an activity okay then main activity right here then of course inside it we're going to declare two widgets first we're going to have our button widget we're also going to have the edit text widget these are two widgets we're going to have then of course on create on create method this is the method that's going to be called actually when our activity is created so based on create we pass in the bundle then of course set content view the set content view method is going to inflate our main.xml layout that we had seen so we pass in that particular uh, resource right here which is resource.layout.main that's the layout that is going to be inflated all right then we're going to call this dot initialized views. Initialized views, this is a custom method we are just creating right here. That's going to define now. This is going to initialize our widgets. So time txt equal to find view by id. Of course, generic type edit text resource dot id dot time txt. Set button equal to find view by id button. That's our generic type resource dot id dot start button. Read. This is how we're going to reference our two widgets our time txt as well as our start button. Now do this uh, type start dot click okay then plus equal to then of course you click your tab key twice I'll repeat uh, type start button dot click then plus equal to then of course you press your tab key twice. Now it's going to auto generate for you our event handler which is our start button click then of course it's going to add this particular piece of code void start button then object sender event xe okay that event handler is going to add it for you so it's inside that particular event handler where we're going to of course call our go method right now what's the purpose of our go method well of course it's going to initialize and start our alarm so let's come create it right here private void go First, we're going to get the time in seconds, all right? So, in time, all right? Then convert those two. Now, of course, time txt right here. This is an edit text is going to give us a string, okay? So the string it gives us, we're going to cast it, of course, to int thirty two. So, convert those two int thirty two time txt dot text. Right now, this is just a basic validation right here. Of course, in a production case, we're going to need maybe to wrap this one in a try catch block so that if the user enters something like a word or a sentence of course you can catch that one okay now in this case just to simplify our code well, i'm going to assume that you guys are going to type their numbers but of course in production case you'll want to uh, provide a proper validation so that's it that'll do for us we're going to get our integer which is time over there then intent i equal to new intent we're going to insertate our intent object passing in this then of course type of my receiver once we have our intent object we're going to of course uh, obtain our pending intent object 
we're going to be passing in the context of course the private uh, request code our uh, intent object as well as the flag so come right here pending intent pi equal to pending intent dot get broadcast this this is our object this is, of course is our context all right we're inside our main activity so we simply pass this zero right here this is our private request code then i this of course is our intent object zero this is our flag once we have our pending intent we're going to initialize our alarm manager okay now take note that alarm manager class actually of course it's been around since the api level one of course it belongs to the android app package and then it extends the of course java.lang.object so this alarm manager right here you cannot instantiate it directly okay you can't instantiate alarm manager directly instead if you want its instance you're going to use the right here the get system service context to get system service then of course you cast you pass in the alarm service right here then of course you cast it to alarm manager that's going to give us the alarm manager instance now once you've obtained that particular instance we're going to call the set method now for your alarm of course you can set a recurring alarm or you can set an alarm that fires once now in this our first alarm manager tutorial we're going to create an alarm that's just going to fire once okay so alarm manager dot set alarm type dot rtc wake up then java system dot current milis right here this is going to give us the current time in milliseconds it's going to obtain the time now in milliseconds then of course we're going to get the time that the user did enter these are entered the time in seconds so we're going to multiply it by a thousand to convert it into milliseconds right so once we have that time in milliseconds and we've also obtained the current time in mil milliseconds we're going to add the two so we're going to get the future we're passing in right here the time in future in milliseconds the time at which of course our alarm is going to ring okay so we're going to have them course in milliseconds so pi right here pi which is of course our pending intent object no that's it that's how we're going to set our alarm okay so alarm manager to set that one then of course we're simply showing right here a simple toast message just to notify us that of course our alarm has been set all right does it does it that's our main activity so of course we're going to run our project we saw our my receiver class broadcast receiver class we also did see the main activity dot xml so go ahead click uh, this is on right of course to run our project in our gain emotion uh, emulator okay of course we're going to have it right here so we can go ahead if i set my time in three seconds then i click start alarm set in three seconds after three seconds alarm ringing all right if i set it in five seconds right here alarm set in five seconds after five seconds alarm ringing does it guys we've seen the alarm manager we're now we're touching the source code below so you guys go browse it go download it and then of course import it to visual studio Others take care. I'll catch you in the next class.